In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for NiNO32 plus Na2CO3. This is nickel nitrate plus sodium carbonate. The first thing we do is balance the molecular equation. I can see I have two sodium atoms here and just one here. I'm going to put a two in front of the sodium nitrate. Now I have two sodium atoms and I have two nitrates, which is good because I have two here. I have one nickel on each side and one carbonate on each side. So this is the balanced molecular equation. Next, we need to write the state for each substance. So if you know your solubility rules, nitrates are very soluble, AQ. So this will dissolve, split apart into its ions. Sodium compounds, also very soluble. Then we get to this nickel carbonate. Carbonates are most often insoluble with a few exceptions like group one elements, sodium and potassium carbonate, they're soluble. But nickel, that's a transition metal. This is going to be insoluble, so it's going to be a solid. These will react, and this will fall to the bottom of the test tube as a precipitate. We have another sodium and a sodium nitrate, so that's going to be soluble. So we have our states. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into ions for the complete ionic equation. We don't know the charge on nickel, but we know the nitrate. The whole thing is 1 minus. Good one to know. 2 times the 1 minus. This will have to be 2 plus. So I have the nickel two ion, and I won't write the states right now. Let's do that at the end. Two of these nitrates, so two nitrate ions, and then sodium is in group one on the periodic table. That's one plus the whole carbonate, two minus. So two sodium ions, and then just the one carbonate ion, CO3, two minus. And these are the reactants in our net ionic equation. For net ionic equations, we don't split solids apart. So we're just going to write in the products NiCO3, keep it together, and then sodium plus the whole nitrate, negative two sodium ions again. And then we have two nitrate ions, just like in the reactants. So this is the complete or total ionic equation. Now we can cross out these spectator ions that are on both sides of our complete ionic equation. As I look at the reactants and the products, I see I have these two nitrate ions here in the reactants and in the products. So those can go. I have two sodium ions in the reactants and in the products. They can go. What's left, that's the net ionic equation for nickel two nitrate plus sodium carbonate. I'll clean it up, write the states. We'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for NiNO32 plus Na2SO4. You'll note that charge is conserved. We have a two plus here and then the two minus here. That gives us a net charge of zero. Over here, neutral compound, net charge of zero. The atoms, they're also balanced. So this is the net ionic equation, and thanks for watching.